Hey there, Taurus. Hope you guys this week has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for your highest good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus. Alright, I see you. I like the high value male. I get it. Get it, get it. We got a new person. One more. What's up with this angry dude? Like, he showed up in the Aries video. <laughs> Alright. There's the 911 sirens again. All right, so there is somebody that is not happy about somebody transitioning over to this happy energy. So at one point, somebody may have had some anger issues and they're channeling and moving through anger differently now. And boy, is somebody angry that somebody is changing themselves. That should show you what type of person that you're dealing with right there. People that want the best for you, they will, they will, um, they'll be proud of you to change. They'll want to see you change. They'll want to see you be your happiest self, whatever that may be for you. So, what's the overall energy for Taurus? Denial. Acknowledging fear and replacing it with awareness because somebody tried to put somebody in denial or this person was in denial. And you have the power and the free will to create your own happiness and this is what you're doing. So some of you guys just have an angry man energy that is like mad because you're attracting this other energy towards you. And you're just over here just breaking free, detaching, and just taking your power back and just free, feeling free, creating your own life, creating your reality is what you've been doing here. Taurus. Got out of your comfort zone. As Tauruses, we don't like change. We stay in our comfort zones. Even if it gets toxic, we still stay because we don't want to get out of the comfort. This is like, even if it's not comfortable, we'd rather just stay in something toxic because it's, it's, it, we feel like it's the normal. Like it's normal. It's, it's part of my routine. I'm just going to continue dealing with that. No, Taurus, re unlearn all of that. So we're going to push ourselves out of our comfort zones and we're going to make room for change. We're going to accept change. And then you'd be surprised once you go through your first cycle of letting that change happen, it, it becomes more easier. So we had to learn to get out of our comfort zones to get in this free energy here. Love, trust, and happiness. This is what you have coming towards you. And this is what this person is, this high-vibing male energy. Love, trust, and happiness. This is what this person's intentions are to come towards you. This is your world of dreams. And this is you no longer playing things small. This is like fully stepping into your creation of your reality here. No limits. Sky's the limit. This is like doing whatever you want, creating anything that you want for yourself. And, and including a partner coming towards you. Like, you got somebody here that is like either worked on themselves or this is who they are. But this is what you're attracting towards you. But there's definitely some angry energy here that's not happy about this. Maybe one for Taurus. Wisdom. I speak as my higher self. My words uplift, empower, and inspire others. And this is what you're doing with your energy here. You're taking your... You're, you're turning into your best self. You've been working on being your best self. And you are... By just doing that, you... You wouldn't... You would not realize the inspiration that you give to others. And then this is just like... Showing people the way. Being that beacon of light and hope for others. And so much wisdom that you have. Somebody looks at you as very was very wise. You you learn to speak from your higher self. And there's this relationship you're bringing towards you. As I release old emotional wounds, it opens a door for me to embrace love to the fullest. And this is what you're bringing towards you. This is getting rid of all these old emotional wounds, and becoming the best version of yourself, and reflecting that back in a person. That's a beautiful thing. That's why healing is so important. So we're just letting go of old emotional wounds. This person, this love interest of yours, they very well have like been, because this person's been working on themselves. So they're like, they're, they've they also been getting rid of some kind of emotional wounds that were like keeping them stuck. Taurus. Grow together. Find those who inspire you to bloom. This is getting around a better community, better connections, 
being with these connections where they give you that equal reciprocity back to you. Like the things if you're not being like there, like there's no respect or there's like disrespect. Like this is like pulling your energy back and only giving to those connections that are giving that same, I'm going to call it the golden rule. Treat people as you want to be treated. And unfortunately, not everybody's going to do that. That's why we got to cut the ones out that don't. So you've got this love interest wanting to grow. Like they've been inspired because of you. And be patient. It will come. Manifestations, power. This is fully stepping into your power, understanding your power, and just understanding the um, the universal laws the about the divine timing, letting things play out for you right as it's meant to. Because if we try to unlock doors or try to break doors open that are locked on us, it's going to blow up in our faces because we're not ready for it. There's a reason that things don't work out for us right when we want them to. So be patient. Trust the flow. Oh, I don't break that easy. Not anymore. Instead, I use things as fuel. You're a freaking alchemist. Empowered. Taking your pain and turning it into your power. Taking your pain and turning it into your profit even. So you don't break. Things that would break most, they don't break you. They might knock you down for a little bit, but you come back stronger. Wiser. And I just heard more educated. So like, there's a reason that you had to go through certain cycles so you could obtain the, the information that you needed to. You're very empowered. You're, you're so empowered to the point that you brought this lover towards you. You made them step into their power. Taurus. A new romantic cycle begins. Could have strong lever placements or this person does. Okay. A fiery climax approaches. We got Aries energy now. You or them. But yeah, I'd say this person's coming towards you because they all passionate and hot and bothered for you. And we got Scorpio energy here. It's time to release negativity. And this is what you've been learning to do. And this is what this high vibing male has been doing. They've been releasing their own negativity. And because of that, the energy is gaining momentum. And somebody is not happy about this. Like, there is a very angry energy. I don't know if it's on this person's end or your end, or it could be both of your guys' ends getting challenged by karmics. When unions are meant to happen, all oh, those karmics go hard to try to pull us back so we don't achieve unions. That's why it's so important to see the lessons for what they are and see the red flags and, and these connections, whether they're new or people are trying to mend these connections. A karmic is a karmic is a karmic. Tell me about this high vibing person. Happy. The person wants to be happy. This person's doing everything in their power to break free. And I feel like they've been learning to focus on themselves. And because they've been doing things to change things up and release the pain that they've been through, it's that you're becoming a alignment to come together. Tell me about this. I don't know why I'm tapping that table, but oh well. So this person. Man, nine of pentacles. Man, I can't make this stuff up. Man. All right. So you've called this person towards you. This person's starting to see through their own illusions. Like this person may have sent some kind of energetic signal to call in their person. And then here you are. So you both are like manifesting each other, whether you realize this or not. This person's seeing through their own ways. They're seeing through their own illusions. They're just seeing it. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that, that, an upright, this is somebody who's independent, single. They got their stuff together, but in reverse, this tells me that this person is ready to hang up a certain lifestyle because they want to come into union. So they have to give up certain things about themselves that had to deal with their lifestyle that they were leaving. Leaving? It's my hillbilly coming out. Just go with it. <laughs> Page of Wands, you got this person's inner child, like, Got them feeling like a child, like just very, like this person's having like this, this drive and spark to them, this energy to them that they ain't had before. You make them feel like a kid and this person has an inner knowing. This person may have some kind of abilities. They could be have like, like some kind of like strong intuition or they just have some kind of magical abilities because this person did show up as a magician. So they very well could have some kind of power to them. And if this person was using these abilities for, like, not so good things, like, they have changed all of that up. Okay. And look, 
magician and the high priestess. What are you two doing? Y'all are, okay, y'all are powerful. I see you. Hmm. So you both got power to you. Okay. And this one wants to come towards you because he's seeing this. And I'm telling you, this person is done with drama. This person is getting away from conflict, drama, their own internal conflict. They're getting rid of all that. And boy, is somebody not happy about this. Somebody tried to use some kind of lies, deception. There could have been spell work involved over somebody here. Because somebody was in heavy illusions to stop somebody from stepping into their growth. Somebody's so upset because they weren't able to achieve a certain type of drama that they wanted to. This person is like, this person is like went through a, a tra like a, that dark night of the soul. Like this person is fully awakened now. Like they're going through their, their transformation. Like they're starting to see things. They're just, they just know now. Like this person is definitely, definitely in this observant energy where they're just really getting the bigger picture. They're, they're starting to see things. And this one's in the background watching you achieve things. And somebody definitely tried to tell this person to either walk away or this person told themselves, like, this isn't going to be good. I'm just going to walk away. And this person had to reflect. They had to pull away. They had to go through their own type of isolation journey by disconnecting from things that were, like, getting in the way of their growth. And they started reflecting. They started internalizing. And something about an ending. They're starting to see something about the way that something ended or... Ending things to their own ways or just reminiscing over their own endings within their own life. Like this person's been like really, it's almost like this person's having like a lot of thoughts come up into their mind. It may be things that they might have buried for a while and they all been coming back up and it's because it's meant to be processed and, and moved through and released. And that's what this person's been going through. And you're over there. Though this person finds you as the Queen of Cups, this person wants to match your energy because you're in this Queen of Cups energy where you're just over there loving you, creating boundaries, not letting anyone just have access and just really developing your gifts because there's something about gifts with you two here. And this person sees you as this Queen of Cups and they want to match that energy. You got this person in their feelings. That's how, that's how much power that you have, whether you realize this or not, the impact that you have on this person. Some of you guys may not even realize this. Time about this new person. So this could be this person I'm picking up on, or this could be a whole nother person. So let me see what we get here. New person. Two of Cups. There's definitely a relationship here. Could be this high-valued man energy or a whole nother person, but there's definitely union here. Tell me more. Okay, so somebody could be... So if this person went in another direction and thought that somebody else would have been a better choice or if they were just they just it's been an ending they went in the wrong direction and and if you have so this person's very dominant right this is somebody here that when I was asking about the new person this ten of swords came out because the question I asked is like is this person like and I'm telling you this person wants to like end any connection that tries to get in the way of you like this is somebody that doesn't want to see you get away with somebody new very dominant one and you over there again this queen of cups you're attracting everything towards you and oh this person's coming yep the cancer the cancer somebody the cancer how strong cancer placements um there's definitely strong energy coming towards you and the energy that you're in you just may be attracting people towards you and this this person that's been changing everything up to come towards you is like very aware of this and there's some kind of like somebody wants to make something right and there's just something being balanced out for you because you understood what you were called to do and you continued with that and now you're being like rewarded for it and something is balancing out somebody wants to try to so this person is trying to they, they're coming in here again with this strong energy where they just want to like really, they, they want to get, they, they're they tired of holding back and they don't, they know if they don't come towards you, that somebody else will come towards you and they don't want that to happen. That's why they're ending things. Tell me about this angry sourpuss here. 
tell me about this angry person. Why are they mad? Why are they so mad? The moon in reverse. I can't make this stuff up. Because somebody tried to either, there could have been spell work involved or just, there was just some kind of nasty rumors, lies, deception. And the illusion is over. And somebody's angry because of this. Man. This person could be angry because of the information that they have found out after all the dust has settled. So this person could have had anger problems. Like, so that's what they're trying to like, they had to get a hold of their anger and like, and I feel like that's what they're doing. Tell me more about this angry man. Oh yeah, this one's healing. So this angry man is very selfish. I'm not talking about your high-valued person here. I'm talking about this other person. They're selfish. They tried to get this person to fully detach. So I feel like this, this person that's been changing everything to come towards you, like, they're detaching from this angry energy. And I feel like for some of you, it's like they're detaching from an old version of themselves as well. But this is like a very selfish, angry energy that has tried to interfere with this person changing and just... This person coming towards you. Somebody does not like that this person is detached, that they've healed, that they're doing things differently. So there's like earth angel energy is definitely significant here. So I don't know if like you were not to be made out of like who you said you were or somebody could be figuring out that they've got their own type of angelic energy here because somebody's been like under some heavy illusions and they've woken up to themselves and you're the, the reason for this the impact somebody does not like so somebody's angry because you stayed committed to yourself you continued working on yourself your finances and that has debunked something and then somebody tried to like this person's been through so this high-valued man has been through something before, right? And this angry energy tried to use that to manipulate their mind to think that it wouldn't be smart to come towards you. And then, man, this person had some kind of, like, past anger because of some connection. It, it could stem from childhood. It could stem from, like, a mother figure. Or it's just some nasty connection that this person's dealt with that has caused them to like, it's almost like they were hurt so much to the point where they ended up like building like resentment. They just got angry and it just, it just hardened their heart. And then you come along and like started softening it up. So it'd be like that. When we get hurt, we, we turn angry. It, it, it'd be like that. So somebody tried to make this person think that it would not be safe to come towards you. It will end bad. But somebody is like, this person has been coming off balance and in balance because of a tower that has taken place. Because of, I feel like the tower is definitely an awakening. And there's something else that has taken place in this person's life that caused a tower moment. And this person's been changing things up. And now they're coming your way. And somebody's angry because of this. Check out these 911 sirens. Berries and cherries. This is moving away from danger. Somebody wanted this move away from you. It's danger. There's something here about just danger trying to interfere with this. This is like somebody wanting to like take away, like move away from danger, like move you away, move both of you move away from danger. Okay, tell me more about that. What is that? Emperor. This is a very... So there's like a very controlling, angry energy that is like this very dominant energy. It could be like a father figure or just like a, another strong masculine energy, like a sibling, a friend, like to where... This person did everything in their power to control something, and it just didn't work. Very dominant. If this is somebody related to this person, that's where they get their dominancy from, because I felt that earlier. Hmm. Healing. Somebody did not want you to be looked at as, a, as a, again, an earth angel. 
Something that you were not to be made out as something good. And you just stayed over there and stayed committed to yourself. Someone could have told this person that you wanted something that they had or you were going to use them or this person just thought those. It has to do with what this person has, what they were committed to in the past has left a big nasty taste in this person's mouth that resolved to anger. And I'm telling you, this person is seeing through all of this bullcrap, not only with themselves and what they got going on, but with you and what was said. They say in it, in a tower. So, tower, because this person's coming towards you. And somebody's not happy. And there's a marriage, a contract here meant to happen. There we are, Taurus. Could be a past life connection here for somebody here. But you've got somebody shifting and looking at things differently. Looking at themselves differently. Looking at love differently. And boy, did somebody really try to get this person to look at you, this connection funny, or even themselves. Because I keep getting that this masculine energy has been underneath some kind of illusions here. Because that magician there. So it's like anything to stop this person from being their best self is what was being um, meant to be achieved. And it, it may have worked for just a, a little while or so many times, so many times, so many years throughout somebody's life, but you are the impact on this person. You have changed them up. And half of you guys, some of you guys, don't even realize that this is going on. Huh. All right. Taurus. Arouser. You provoke sexual arousal. Like a phantom dancing. So, okay. you. This person has a very strong magnetic sexual energy to them but I feel like you do as well so you both got this strong very strong energy to each other you definitely got this person like very very much passionate about you rebellion your rebellious mind is a force that is able to remove the smoke screen so you have you're a rebel anybody that tries to come up against you like you you're glad to be to be the one to like let them know like you ain't gonna do this to me I'm going to clap back. I'm going to bite back. I ain't going to clap. I'm going to bite you. You ain't going to like it. <laughs> Tell me more. Mystifying. You exude mystery. Teasing the mind with the unknown that will help others embrace the obscure and charge ahead fearlessly. So, the person likes your energy. And this person also has some kind of like very mystical energy to them whether they are aware of it or they may not be aware of it but the person's got some kind of abilities tell me more royalty cover that up we don't want the, the boobies to show all right you have royalty qualities that are command power and causes extreme reactions you are either loved or hated so when we are meant to be leaders that is the truth. We're either going to be loved or hated. And it's none of our business what people think about us. So a lot of you guys come from royal bloodlines. And you are the chain breakers. You're down here changing everything up. That's why your lives were so hard. That's why all this trauma has taken place. And you still remained hopeful. You still look at life through a good lens. You did not let that darkness take over. The darkness may have had a hold on you guys at one time, but it just never fully was able to take over. You still operate out of your heart space because you are a good person. You have a very valuable gift. But through your optimism and your support, like you're really meant to be an inspiration to others. And very self-reliant. You are the type of person that you don't depend on anybody to give you what you want. You, you go after what you want. So there, you both have this very strong independent energy here. And you're just showing people how to like, love self, be comfortable with self. This is what you're teaching people because you're being in this energy. We have got to love ourselves. If we don't love ourselves, how can we love anybody else when we don't love us? Tell me more. And you're an illuminator. You illuminate that darkness. So somebody tries to come for you, tries to 
send things your way or say things about you. Like you illuminate it, illuminate it just by you being you. So you light up the room. You just, you know how to crack people's hearts wide open. You, you make a strong impact. And again, you may not realize the impact that you've made on this person, but oh, have you. Clairvoyance. You possess clear vision. You receive information through your mind's eye, your third eye chakra here. So you know how to uh, obtain images through past life, present, future. So you're definitely locked in and you definitely receive some kind of information. So you know when something is going to play out. You can feel it. That's why you're just simply being and just understanding like, yeah, I already know. I'm just going to let it play out. I'm not going to fight, force it. I'm just going to simply be. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing to do and a way to be. And just becoming. So this is you just becoming who you are. Man, you've got this very, very, very strong magnetic pull to you where people, you become people's fantasies. You're very complex. People can't figure you out. You've got multiple sides to you. Dimension traveler. You are able to open gateways to realms outside of the dimension. It can be discovered naturally or open through the performance of rituals. Decide on your realm. So some of you guys may have already know this about yourself. Some of you guys are going to learn this for you, about yourself. Like you just know how to travel through dimensions and then undecided. You were given the opportunity to fully explore your options to prepare you for the next. As a result, you may experience many new adventures. So you're signed up for a lot of these cycles that you went through, these connections. So this is like you were given the option to either be one certain way or have it play out and this is how you chose this is why your life has been the way it's been you chose for it to go like this Taurus okay I've got a narcissist yeah I say there's a narcissist on the board because this is angry mother effer man very angry they live in illusion they're superficial and if this person had some kind of like Narcissist that they, they that raised them or just narcissists that have impact them. This is like narcissists do everything in their power to gain control over people. Like they don't play fair. Like they only care about themselves. And they how dare anybody else do better than them because don't you know that they're the only ones that have to do well. And you're supposed to bow down to them and just worship the ground that they walk on. I don't think so. We ain't doing that. All right. I need to calm down because every time I get riled up, like I'll battle of those mother efforts. I don't play around with them. Mm -mm, we ain't doing that. All right. So someone could have painted you out as a narcissist. This person, like there could have been just narcissistic tendencies because narcissists can change. Like narcissistic tendencies, they can change. Okay. The, the full-blown narcissist, I have also seen videos where they can change, but they have got to do a lot of intensive therapy and they have to really want change to make it happen so there's just a lot of like this dark energies that have influenced influence like tried to influence this person and there's just been an influence here and some of you guys have just were attracted a magnet uh, for narcissists some of you guys have dealt with narcissists in your family as well and that was again that is part of the lessons and this person's very protective they don't this is somebody I don't want to share. This is someone that does not like to share. Very protective. And that person's definitely obsessing over you. There was some addiction, some poor habits, codependency issues. All of this had to be cleared up. And I feel like that's what's going on here. But boy, this person's very fixated on you. They have never met somebody like you before. It's like, it's, it's kind of like where they're like freaking out a little bit. Like, what the hell? Like, nothing's the same anymore. And they find you so beautiful. And Tauruses, we're ruled by Venus. So we like things that are pleasing to the eye, pleasing to the nose, pleasing to the mouth, pleasing to the touch. That's just who we are. And boy, does this person feel this about you. The person, I'm not saying that. I'll say it like this. This person wants to explore every single inch of your body. I'm just going to say it like that because I'm not getting deep into that. Long list, high maintenance, unrealistic standards, high standards, never satisfied, hard to please. This is what this person's dealt with before. And someone could have made you out to be these things. 
Those narcissists are these. They Nothing that you do or say is good enough for a narcissist. I don't care if you buy the narcissist a mansion. They will go in the mansion and they will complain about the colors of the walls. They're never happy. They just want you to bow down to them, worship them. <laughs> Again. Dang narcissist. So high maintenance energy. Somebody may have thought you were like seducing them. This person feels weak for you. This person may have thought you were like tempting them. Like this was like just a temptation. Boy, this person's got you on a pedestal. They admire you. This person may have felt like you're out of their league. This person loves everything about you. Flaws and all. Like you're just being admired. And they're coming towards you not playing games. That's why this person's doing everything in their power to become the best version of themselves. This person was not aware of your intentions. Or somebody told this person to be aware of your intentions because they're not good. These karmic energies. These are these karmics that have been leaving bad taste in both of your guys' mouths. Because that's what karmics do. Karmic debt. So a karmic tried to tell somebody that you're a karmic. And you're just over here completing things up. Embracing the new worlds that are opening up for you. Embracing the rewards coming in for you after going through these harsh lessons. There was some unhealthy choices, bad habits that were definitely getting in the way. And you both are learning to be careful of who and what you let in. And because we're doing that, we get access to new experiences. Things that were locked before are now unlocking because we're ready for them. Because we understood our assignments. That's why we're moving forward on our journey and we're ready for newness. Taurus. Got a Pleiadian. So understanding the, the balance and the pol polarity. Here to help human race evolve. Challenger of the social norms. You're not... You don't... You don't fit into the, the, the norms of society and you don't want to. And you're not meant to. That's why everything is... Your life has been the way it's been. Tell me more. And this is like getting around healthy collaborations. It was boy that a collaboration tried to come up against you that was with this connection here. This is like appreciating other people's viewpoints. Like narcissists will never appreciate our viewpoints. They... They only care about their viewpoints. This is like getting yourself around energies that actually, like, because this is how you are. You like to see other people's viewpoints and you, you know, you're, you're, you're non-judgmental. And this narcissist, these narcissists, that's what they are. They're judgmental. And we've got an earth soul. Sticks to what is socially accepted to belong to a community. So this person may have just been sticking to a certain community and environment they where they're accepted. So this is like no longer caring about being socially accepted anymore. This is like rocking in our own lane and liking our lane and not wanting to be in anybody else's lanes. We're chilling. We're good. There is no traffic when we're in our own lane. A newborn soul. So this person is like going through like these ascensions. Like they're just in the beginning of their ascension here. So this is like when we come down here on earth. We are told that we have to do this, we have to do this, and we all we have to do it about all this certain time. Because if you reach this age and you don't achieve these, you're you're never going to be nothing. That is such bullcrap. That's why all this fear gets placed in our minds, and we tell ourselves we're not worthy because society tells us we're not doing the norm. What is the norm? That's your norm. It's not ours. We're going to choose our norm. So we're changing everything up. And we're mastering self because of this. We were called on a mission to discover our true selves, to go through these harsh lessons, and that's what we're doing for ourselves. And we're now understanding the, the, the realms, the, the worlds, the two worlds that we have. This is us resolving conflicts, offering guidance, not letting conflicts keep us in confliction anymore. This is like, if conflicts do arise, this is finding ways to decipher those conflicts in healthier ways. And if we got to take the gangster out, then we'll take it out. Because not everybody's going to want to do the calm route out. So we're going to have to pull the gangster out on people. It'd be like that. Some people only hear you when, when it gets loud. And, and that's sad, unfortunately. But that's how it is. So this is like really tapping into your creative energy. So this is like 
what you inspire others to do is to tap into their own creative energy, spark ideals within their own self, and being of service. This is what you were called to do. This is you learning to, you've always been the type of person where you put other people's needs before yours, but this is like still being that way, but seeing the connections where you're being depleted, drained, that energy is not being reciprocated back. We're going to cut those people out of our, our way and we're going to make room for more good people that reciprocate that beautiful energy back. That's what we're going to get rid of those low vibing connections and we make room for these other high vibing connections that are operating in the same energy that you are. And are going to be that for you like you are them. And we're just moving through our lessons. We see the bigger picture. And we just overcoming all these difficult lessons. That's how strong we are. And the definitely earth angel energy here. So we've just been down here like clearing up so much. Whatever we've been called to do, we've been smashing it and just knocking it out of the ballpark every, every time. Taurus. Access denied. Something was denied before. And this is what somebody wanted. This this angry energy wanted something denied. Wanted something stopped. But it's still coming. Some of you guys have a home-based business. Or you could be thinking about creating a home-based business here. Tell me more. Justice. Something is balancing out. And there we got this cursing energy here. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. So we've got some kind of curse that we've been taking off of our bloodline, Taurus. That's why our life has been the way it's been. So we signed up for some, uh, we signed up for some pretty, pretty tough lessons, and we've overcome all of them. So just make sure you're patting yourself on the back. So there's definitely some kind of curse-breaking energy that we've got rid of that stems from our mother figure. Whether our mother was doing it or the mother, we saw a mother receiving this. There's the mother is definitely an impact the way things are the way they they've been. They work because they're not the, that way anymore because our healing here. And we got justice. After all this gossiping and people trying to gossip and talk, I'm telling you, justice is coming out. So all that gossiping, it's all coming to the forefront. That's why people are upset. Getting around healthy work environment. Some of you guys, have. it could be like a, a work environment that got in the way of this for some of you. And this is like going around healthier work environments now. Detaching from those toxic ones if we can. And if we can't, we're going to do things to detach just from the, the, the clicky chicken heads, we'll call them. The ones that want to gossip. And no, we go to work to work. We ain't sitting there gossiping with you chicken heads because that's what y'all like to do. And you're still doing it because here it is showing up. Tell me more. We're smart. Somebody did not realize the knowledge that you have. Well, yeah, we got all this knowledge because we got our butts knocked around a lot. So, yeah, of course we're knowledgeable. Been through some things. Tell me more. This person really likes your smarts. And there's our ancestors. Ancestors do not play. Our ancestors are like, our baby's down here clearing up some kind of karma off of our bloodline. And we're going to protect ours. You are the change that the ancestors have been waiting for. Your ancestors are fully passing the torch to you and giving you the power. Instilling you with the power, the gifts. And you're meant to be a boss because of this. This is you fully bossing up. And whatever endeavor that you're working on, fully bossing up. So continue showing up for yourself because you're definitely making some things happen. And that is separation. So there's some kind of like somebody tried to separate something. And just, you're just... This person could be separating from something else. Something had to be separated for somebody to come towards you. And there's somebody frustrated because of this. So there's a frustrated woman that is either realizing they getting left behind. Or this frustrated woman is the one that tried to open their big old chicken head mouth and gossip and try to interfere. Either way, they frustrated Oh, that came out forcefully. That's a freaking Jezebel. Somebody tried to paint you out as a Jezebel. This is somebody that is very jealous. They compete. They're they're not happy with themselves. They think they got to take control. And, and this is the type of person that just simply wants to take something because they don't want you to have it because they're jealous of you. So they're going to 
create lies and use emotions to try to manipulate. That's what Jezebels do. They're very controlling. They use their body they, to, for what they want. And they just, ooh, very vain, very superficial, very flaky, narcissistic, narcissist for somebody here. Somebody wanted you stuck and powerless. Okay. Could be like teenagers or young adults interfering here. Somebody wanted you stuck and powerless, and you're not stuck and powerless like they wanted you to. And somebody's realizing this. And then somebody's realizing something about their ways. Somebody did, like, this person is, my gosh, this person has done, like, a whole change about with their lifestyle. And it's because of you. And there's something about community, city life. There's... Could be in the city now. This other person could be in the city. But there's something just about communities. Getting away from certain communities and going around better communities. Exactly. Repelling something. Getting away from certain groups and cliques and chicken heads, we'll call them. Because they gossip. They, they got nothing else better to do but gossip. They ain't making any moves like you are, so they just run their mouth. Anyways, we're repelling it. We're getting away from it. We're done. Somebody tried to make it seem like, oh, repel this. Here they are, these de devil ball suckers. Tried to get somebody to repel you. Don't go near this person. And there's definitely spell work involved. So these devil ball suckers were trying to throw spell work to try to get in the way of something here. These devil ball suckers, if they tried to bring some kind of curse over you, tried to do something to stop you, stop this union even, these devil ball suckers and sign themselves up for some stuff that is not going to be good. And you are the blessing. You are sent from heaven. And oh, is it being acknowledged now? That's why everybody's realizing this. And you're just over here changing your environment. And this love interest of yours is changing their environment around. Because this person has definitely had some kind of lifestyle. This person gets a lot of attention. You both may get attention. Boy, like this person's eyes are on you. This person looks at you as this warrior because that's what we are. We're warriors. This person has some kind of warrior spirit to them as well. And these devil ball suckers are fully aware that you are the warrior. And this person wants to come towards you with some kind of date. And if this person went in a different direction towards somebody else, they had to go in that direction to realize something about themselves, about you, about this connection. So this person cannot get their mind off of you. This person is really in their mind, really much thinking about every every detail, every... Ooh, this one gets in their mind. So the person could be thinking about leaving jobs or doing something different with their work. But this person's been hired by their spiritual team. They have hired to, to, to be the chain breaker, to chain things, to change things with their bloodline here. And boy, is this one in the in the background watching you and these devil ball suckers are as well because they try to put a target on you they try to target you to take you out stop you and it didn't work i hope you devil ball suckers realize that you guys now officially have targets on your back for trying to wish that on us so you reap what you sow taurus infatuated love so this is somebody that just may have thought that this something was just infatuation before because how strong they felt for you. Someone could have told this person it was just going to be infatuation. Abstinence. So you could be your so you could be practicing abstinence. This person could be practicing abstinence. There's something about just not letting anybody have access to your vessel because energy transfer is real. Like if you lay down and sleep with somebody in the bed, you will, their demons will attach to you. And that's facts, man. That's why you don't just transfer that energy with anybody. So this is somebody that was resisting some kind of emotional connection before, but this is somebody that's no longer wanting to resist this, and they want to have this with you. You both may not, may not have ever experienced something healthy with emotions before in a connection, and this is what you guys are meant to be for each other. Tell me more. Protected by love. This is a protector. Your partner will be protective of you. Feeling an obligation to take care of you. So this person definitely has this protective energy towards you. 
because I felt that in the beginning with that six of swords. Like this person's like aware of you being in some kind of like, or you you were, or they're thinking that you still are in some kind of like danger, and they want to just like take you away from it. Huh. A healing love. This is what you guys are going to be for each other. It will help you heal parts of yourself that you've been neglecting. And this is what you both have been doing for yourselves. And this is why union is important because we can only do so much healing on our own and we have to connect with people to, to heal those other areas. This is you both fully understanding that you deserve healthy love and you do. And we got this new romance. And this is just like new newness coming towards you all together. Again, you guys could just be attracting people towards you at this time. But there was some mixed signals before. Somebody could have thought that you were giving them mixed signals or you could have felt the same way. But there was just, you guys weren't on the same page before because there was so much things going on in the background that was trying to interfere. And then we've got this team teamwork here. So whatever they lack, they, you got and whatever they, let me say that again, whatever they lack, you got and whatever you got, if they lack, you give that to them. Like you both will balance each other out in areas where you both feel like you may be lacking or like you guys are going to be that for each other. And it's going to create balance. Taurus. Loyalty. Trusting, reliable, believing. This is what you weren't meant to be made out as. This is somebody that now wants these things. And this is somebody that's realizing that you are on the same page with them. Somebody was cautious. Somebody tried to shift somebody's perspective and tell, tell either tell them to be cautious of you or they just told themselves they needed to be cautious because it has to do with the pain. Somebody has shifted their perspective now that they pulled away and they're seeing something now. And they want to come towards you. They are realizing that they made a mistake. This is somebody that's fully aware. You are the ecstasy. And boy, is this person realizing this about you. If this person was chasing after other things, oh, it's, it's not of importance anymore. You are the importance now. And they want to open their heart up. Could have been some prideful energy. So just stubborn energy. Us Tauruses, we're known to be stubborn. So you you may, we we even have stubborn energy to us. And that's okay. This is like learning to let that energy down and working with each other. And both learning to fully open your hearts to each other. Both being receptive of this love. Both being vulnerable and willing to learn and open up and communicate in healthy ways. Is what you guys are supposed to be for each other. And there was definitely that cursing energy here. There was definitely some kind of curse that you were been removing. And somebody tried to place some kind of witchcraft on you in this lifetime. So our negative mindset is definitely us breaking old behavior patterns here. So there was a negative mind that needed to be let go of. And this is somebody that you have deep love with. There's definitely a strong connection here with you two. You both have been broken and hurt before. That's why you, this, so that's why this one's been looking at love differently until you came along and you switched their mind up. And we've been broken ourselves, so we're fully aware. We've had our hearts destroyed and stomped on as well. This person is, is imagining all the opportunities that they could have with you. And then we're just over here just loving life, our free spirit energy, and we're just ready for these opportunities because we understand that we also can have these opportunities. There could have been some differences between the two of you, ethnic backgrounds, religion, age gaps. So this person may have been just a little conflicted because of these differences or somebody made this person feel more Feel more towards that view because, again, these differences. Well, the person loves at you is somebody that's forbidden. This person, somebody may have said that you were non-committal. This person may have just been in this non-committal energy here. Only connecting with lust-based connections here. But, oh, this person 
this person is like realizing that they can have everything with you. And some of you guys, this person's your twin flame. Now everybody has a twin flame. You are your twin flame. Don't let titles keep you stuck. So a lot of you guys, this is also a past life connection, especially if you resonate with this person as your twin. Oh yeah, they have past life connection. This person's thinking about the memories. I don't even care if it was something brief that happened between the two of you. All they're thinking about it. This is someone that wants to create new memories because they're like been going through like because they've been going through their dark night of the soul. They've been like really looking at their memories and they're wanting to create more. They're wanting to create better memories. And you guys are meant to create new memories together. And this person's thinking about everything. I'm telling you, it's almost like they're having like a a slideshow of memories in their brain from their past and just everything. It's it's almost like helping them reflect more. Because they thinking. And they thinking like, oh man, I want to come towards this person. This person may have thought this was a trap or they didn't want to be trapped down, tied down. They do now. And it's not even a trap. It's just this person is got to look at connections as not being a trap because they looked at that before and it has to do with what they've dealt with in their past rejection issues codependency issues abandonment issues for some of you this person let fear get in the way and then very well other people added more fear to this person you got this person so much emotional like this person ain't never felt these kind of emotions. Like, this person's just really been in their feels. And they keep telling themselves that one day they're going to come towards you. They cannot escape this. And they find you very attractive. Charming, graceful, kind, passionate, loving, nurturing, empathetic. That's how this person looks at you. Beauty and brains. And boy, are you their fantasy. And they're realizing that this is not a fantasy. This is reality. This can be my reality. Because, boy, this person's having dreams, daydreaming about you. You are, their, you are their wish fulfillment here. And there's definitely abandonment wounds that were at play. This person is wanting to nourish you, nourish this connection. Like, this is what you both will be for each other. Like, you're ta you have taught this person how to nourish themselves. This person's seeing you nourish yourself. And you both are going to help each other grow. And boy, is this person clinging on to the thought of you. They're, it's almost getting hard for them to hold back. It's why they're going to be in, coming toward you and making a move here. And they, even, even if this person doesn't make a move, the way that the energy that you're in right now, you are just attracting love towards you. So I'm telling you, this person is like, it's almost like this person's manifesting it for you because... There is something newer coming in, and this person's, like, well aware of it, and they want to, like, remove it. So this person's definitely doing something to make, to take some kind of action towards you. So, all right, beautiful Taurus, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.